Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Wednesday the 14th of September and there seems to have been a little bit of uproar with regards to Harry's military uniform and whether or not he will be wearing it at the Queen's funeral. Media started to speculate yesterday or the day before, which suggested that Harry will not be permitted to wear his military uniform for the state funeral. And obviously, backlash to this ensued with their supporters. Let me make this very, very clear. Harry is no longer in active service. No military person that has retired or no longer in active service is allowed to wear their uniform unless they are a prominent member with titles at a state funeral. It's quite simple. Serving officers or serving people are allowed to wear their order of dress at official events. When they retire, they will no longer be entitled to wear a uniform. So they'll just wear a suit and their medals. Other members of the royal family are permitted to do that because they hold titles and they rank within those military institutions. This then led to a Sussex spokesperson. Yes, that's right. They had to officially say something about it. And it was a barbed response as well. Omid Scooby on the 13th of September tweeted, Sussex spokesperson Prince Harry will wear a mourning suit throughout events honouring his grandmother. His decade of military service is not determined by the uniform he wears and we respectfully ask the focus remain on the life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. First of all, why does he have to mention that it was a decade of military service and not determined by the uniform? Now, some would say this is Sunshine Sacks going into overdrive, but rumour has it they're no longer with Sunshine Sacks. This is PR media spin overdrive and it's become obvious that there is a massive divide between what American TV is reporting and what British TV is reporting. American TV are very, very pro Meghan and Harry, it seems. On the walkabout that they did at the Long Walk at Windsor with the Prince and Princess of Wales, American TV predominantly just put the focus on Harry and Meghan. And up to even last night, they were reporting that it was just Harry and Meghan that met the Queen's coffin at Buckingham Palace when nothing could be further from the truth. Yes, they were there, but so were all the other grandchildren as well, including King Charles and his consort Camilla. I beg your pardon, it was actually Canadian E! News that they tweeted Prince Harry and Meghan Markle received the Queen's coffin in London. That was what they tweeted. But actually, if you click on the link, it still said that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle received the Queen's coffin in London. It's now changed. They have changed that. The link on Twitter still only relates to Harry and Meghan, whereas now they have updated their article that basically says, King Charles, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and more royals receive the Queen's coffin in London. More royals. So the Prince and Princess of Wales are just more royals. This is getting ridiculous. What's even more shocking was yesterday as the Queen's coffin arrived back at Buckingham Palace, the media was told that it was a private moment and no photos were to be published of inside the palace. One paparazzi took a picture. I'm not going to put it here. I'm not going to put it on my socials. I did put it and then I respectfully took it down because I don't believe that a family in mourning should have their privacy so rudely interrupted. There was a picture taken outside by a long lens camera through a window of King Charles bowing his head at the bottom of the steps inside the palace, meeting his mother's coffin and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle behind him. What's worse is that Omid Scooby tweeted this. I'm not going to show you the picture, as I've said, but I will show you his tweet, but I will not show you the picture out of the respect for the royal family. He said, no photos from inside Buckingham Palace this evening, but moments captured before the Queen's coffin was received at the grand entrance by family have given a glimpse, including this frame by at Jeremy Sluin 1, featuring King Charles, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. It showed them behind him coming down the steps. 
Now, the Daily Mail also put out an article with regards to this, but swiftly took it down out of respect because the palace have asked for no public photos. Omid Scooby, it was up until about an hour ago. He was getting absolutely slammed on social media because of it. He's obviously looked at the backlash and there was a lot of backlash that him posting this photo when the palace has specifically requested nothing be posted. I wasn't aware that the palace had specifically requested that nothing be posted. As soon as I realised that, I removed it from my Instagram and it will not go on there. But Omid Scooby kept it there for at least 14 hours after receiving immense backlash. He's deleted it now, by the way. Now, do you think Omid Scooby would publish that without Meghan Markle's approval? I don't think so at all, but that's my speculation. After the Daily Mail took it down very swiftly, I might add, nobody else picked it up, nobody else has published it in the media, and that's rightfully so. A lot of people are saying that it's photoshopped, which it could very well be. Again, I'm not going to post it here out of respect. But it's all over social media. But it was a gross invasion of privacy. So that tweet has now been deleted. But going back to the uniform issue, the rules for everyone in the British military is that when you are no longer serving, retired and a veteran, which Harry is now, you are not permitted to wear a uniform. The statement should have been simple and it should have been literally, please respect that I will not be wearing a uniform because I'm no longer a serving member of the armed forces. He didn't need to mention his decade of service. I found this tweet that was from an ex-army major Dominic Farrell in which he said he's not entitled to wear his uniform. I served as did many others on here and we can't just open the storage box and dress up for funerals or weddings. He has as much entitlement to wear uniform as any man or woman in the street who has not served. It's ridiculous. Hashtag fancy dress. The fact that he actually had to put out a statement, I find that quite shocking to be perfectly honest. This isn't a decision taken by Harry, it's a decision that is across the board. If he was a working member of the royal family with his military titles, then he would be permitted to wear a uniform. He left, he doesn't hold those titles, so therefore he's not entitled to wear them at the Queen's funeral. And the fact that the media, technically American media and people that are very pro Harry and Meghan, are getting their knickers in a twist about this is ludicrous. It boils down to one simple fact. Ex-service people are not allowed to wear a uniform by British law unless you are a working royal with an honorary military title. Any sensible human being who knows this will understand this. And the fact that Harry had to put out a statement, I think is rather childish, to be honest. And then for those of the people that are now going, well, why can't everybody wear mourning suits like they did at Prince Philip's funeral? <sighs> this is the monarch's funeral, our head of state. Of course, people who are allowed to and have earned the right to will wear their military uniform. Remember, this funeral has been planned down to the meticulous detail by the Queen herself. She planned her own funeral. She even designed her own hearse that took her from RAF Northhold to Buckingham Palace. It was specifically designed for her by her. Now, some would say, playing devil's advocate, that Harry put out the statement to shut the media down, and that very might well be so. But the media that was reporting on this should know the facts, and it's not up to Harry to put out that statement. It should just be known that he is not allowed to wear his uniform. And it frustrates me, the media that is saying he's banned from wearing his uniform. He's not banned, it's the rules. If people, i.e. the media and those on social media that are criticising the rules that dictate that Harry is not allowed to wear his uniform, then nobody would have had to put out a statement anyway. Under the Uniforms Acts of 1894, it shall not be lawful for any person not serving in Her Majesty's military forces to wear without Her Majesty's permission the uniform of any of those forces or any dress having the appearance of being any of the regimental or other distinctive 
marks of any such uniform. Harry could have quite easily just put out a statement saying, I'm not wearing the uniform because of the rules, and ended at that. But he had to have that little dig about the 10 years of dedicated service. It's reminiscent of the services universal, in my opinion. I'm going to end today's video with two conflicting pictures of both the Prince and Princess of Wales arriving at Buckingham Palace and Meghan and Harry arriving at Buckingham Palace. Here we have the Prince and Princess of Wales arriving and here we have Harry and Meghan arriving. Make of that photo what you will. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.